Hello and welcome to RFPro 5 minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about handling hierarchical designs in RFPro. Now, before we begin, remember 1, 2, 3, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the videos with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic, which will be very helpful for your practical design work. Now, to illustrate this example, I have a simple test bench where I'm simulating an MMIC SPDT switch. Now, if you look inside this hierarchical block, I do have my schematic design done on a modular level where individual sections are placed. Now, if you push inside these individual sections, you can see the lowest level components as you have designed it for. Now, when you come to the top and look at the layout of this switch, that will also follow the similar hierarchical method and the designers use this hierarchical method to their advantage so that individual section could be fine-tuned or even designed by individual design teams and then everything comes together at the top level design. Now when you decide to do an RF Pro simulation on this kind of hierarchical design, the designer has to decide which section they would like to really EM simulate and which section they would like to retain as a schematic component. The beauty of RF Pro is that all the design layout hierarchy will be retained in the RF Pro. And now designer can pick and choose what they would like to EM simulate, what they don't want to EM simulate. But now the question is, let's assume the part one section I would like to do an EM simulation on. And that part also contained few fit components. So normal logic says you can simply convert this component to a layout view. And once you have it a layout view, it will be simulated. But then comes the second challenge. You have a couple of fit devices, which is inside this hierarchy. So how can you go inside the hierarchy and turn those fits into schematic components, isn't it? Now let's see how RF Pro does that. The simple concept in RF Pro, when you want to flatten the hierarchy, simply change the role as sub-design. Once you do that, notice what happens in your design. The one level hierarchy gets flattened, all the component inside that hierarchy gets exposed to top level. And now you can choose which component inside that hierarchy you would like to convert it to a schematic or want to retain it as a circuit or as a layout component. So in our case, let's say I want to do the first analysis where I want to keep FET as my circuit model and also part two sections of my design has to be retained as a schematic because I do not want to perform an EM simulation. And at this point, they are hierarchical subblocks. But for RF Pro, it doesn't matter. We can simply drag and drop it over component model. The pins were already there in the layout. I can drag and drop to create ports for those relevant pins. Now, without spending any much effort, I already have my design partitioned. And now at this point, you can go ahead and run simulation. But I would not like to run EM simulation. I just want to show you, if after EM simulation, if you want to create a sub-circuit out of this design, how does it appear? Now here in the resulting EM circuit co-simulation schematic, you can see your EM data once you you know, run the EM simulation, you will have the EM data here. Couple of FETs, which we obtained after flattening the hierarchy, and then remaining two pieces, which we, you know, included as a subnetwork. And if you push inside these blocks, you can still see the schematic design. Now, this capability is very powerful because as a designer, you get flexibility of how you want to manage the hierarchy and how you would like to deal with different sections. Now that's, that was the one way. The another way is, so let me go ahead and delete these two components. Let's say I would like to do the same thing with these two sections. I also want to EM simulate, and then I would like to have a whole EM simulation of this switch. Now in that case, I could even go to part two, simply flatten it by going to sub-design, and now automatically, due to the recognition rule, which you have in RF Pro, and you can manipulate those recognition rule by going to tools, options, under components, and you can define which component you would like to retain as circuit, which component keywords you would like to use to retain it for layout. So there are some product default rules, but you can always change it based on your own nomenclature, which you, would, which you use for your PDKs or for your processes. 
Now, once that is done, now you can see the design is completely on the top level with the FET components identified as circuit role. Now for our simulation, I can go ahead and drag and drop it to component model. And now I can go ahead and do a sub circuit creation. And once we do that, you can notice the view is now completely different. You have all the six FET components along with the EM data all connected with each other. So this provides a very flexible way for designers to navigate through the hierarchies. Now another thing I would like to show once, for example, let me first reset the component roles to revert back to the original condition. So here um, I am back to the original condition uh, which which we had when we launched RF Pro. Now, if you're dealing with one level of hierarchy, doing the way I have shown you is fine. But if you had multiple level of hierarchies and you want to simulate everything in EM, you could have an easier way. And the way to do that is by simply right-clicking on component and flatten all. With this operation, you can flatten all the level of hierarchy in one shot. Now, the only thing now you need to do the components which you do not want to EM simulate will also be flattened. So you can always change the component role back to circuit. And once you do that, you are you are ready to go. You simply drag and drop it to component models. Your design has been partitioned. Go ahead and simulate your design and create a suitable sub-circuit for your EM circuit co-simulation. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content presented and this will be useful for your design work, especially when you're dealing with hierarchical design concepts. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best with your design work.